Due to illness, the part of Mr. Zero tonight will be played by Mr. Zero. Let's talk about Kurt Vonnegut. Do you like Kurt Vonnegut? Actually, I do. Slaughter has five. Slaughterhouse Five. Slaughterhouse Five is the first Kurt Vonnegut book I ever read, and after that, I started reading other books by him. I read Breakfast of Champions, Cat's Cradle, Hocus Pocus, Galapagos. Excellent books, darkly funny and sad at the same time. And it all started because of a simple movie. Disturbing Behavior. See this movie? It was from the 90s. It's got Cyclops, Tom Cruise's wife, that yellow bastard Jesus kid from Carnival. But another thing it has is the Grim Reaper. Mr. Newberry here has got the full on Boo Radley village idiot Quasimodo thing going, don't you, Mr. New? What? And he's, he's currently involved in a war against the rodent population of Cradle Bay. Gotta fight him. Rapers playing this crazy guy who's fighting rats, but he really knows that something's going on in this crazy town. This town where they take implants and stick them in the eyes of teenagers to make them behave. Yeah, scary, ain't it? And in one scene, Cyclops is sitting there having lunch, and he notices a book in the back pocket of the Grim Reapers. Slaughterhouse-Five? Slaughterhouse-Five. And then, he, the Grim Reaper tells Cyclops the reason why he is the way he is. Didn't you ever want to just disappear, lunch boy? Poof, you're gone. You'd be surprised how interesting people become when they think you are really stupid. So, by finding out that the Grim Reaper reads Kurt Vonnegut, we then make an assumption that he's actually cultured, intelligent, but nihilistic and absurdist as well. And we understand so much about him just by this book. But the most brilliant part of all about Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five, it's small enough to fit in your back pocket. Now that's genius. Do you know what an asshole looks like? Not me. This.